well, what's going on guys? Michael Sunny Soap Homestead today. Well, I pushed the Kubota a little too far and I, I took her in places that she shouldn't have been and I kind of bent the mower deck. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to pull this dent out. So what I was doing is on the back property there, I was, you know, driving through trying to get some of those stumps out from my previous video of clearing that back orchard. And I thought, well, maybe I can get back there with the bucket and clean some of these trails out and grade some of this stuff out. Well, I had a little sneaky stump catch up right underneath my motor deck. And this is what it did. So it basically bent that whole thing back. She ain't supposed to be like that, fellas. She, uh, she a little, she a little cranky. And what I'm going to do is probably not the best idea, but I think how thick this metal is and how it was, you know, creased on the, not creased, but that all the bend was in the arch of the deck. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook a strap to the bottom of this, try to get as low as I possibly can and pull that out <sighs> sorry Kubota but I might damage you further I'm not sure uh I wouldn't suggest anybody else doing it I'm doing it because well I don't I'm I'm kind of retarded <laughs> let's see here I hope I don't bend any link with linkages down there but I really I really think this stuff's pretty thin I think it can handle it so I'm gonna take that strap here oh come here strap where you at and I'm gonna hook it on the bottom there and see if I can yank this thing free and like straighten her out somewhat. So here goes nothing. Let's hope I don't break anything, but oh man, I was so upset when I did that. So upset. Well, let's see if it works. Uh, I'm doing this one handed too, folks. Uh, I didn't plan on making a video on this, but I figured oh, I'd share my struggles here. And I got a problem. That guy is so bent that I can't get it out. Oh no, did it? I think it actually bent the whole deck. It's not supposed to be like that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try to lift, I'm gonna try to lift this up and see if I can get it to break free. All right, sorry, I had to put you down, so. I could lift this deck up and we're gonna go in the home. Go in your hole. You too good for your home? Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Oh, come on. Yes. All right. Let's put this little chingalotti on here like that. Like right, I so said, I'm gonna have to back this up, get some tension on this bad boy. See if we can do it. Oh, man, I hope to, hope I didn't ruin this deck, guys, because these things aren't cheap. Let's see if this works. Oh, we don't want to lose this. Woo! There we go. I'm gonna set you guys up on something so you can uh see if this thing unbends or not. I just gotta find something to set you on. Like I said, I didn't I didn't plan on filming today. But uh, I didn't want you guys to miss out on this. I'm gonna go find something real quick. It's not the best, but she'll get the job done. Let's get you guys set up. Uh, let's see here. Fair hope this works. Alright, you guys good? You guys ready for this? Wish me luck.
swear I'm going to lose this thing. Well, it didn't work like I thought it would. give it another shot though. Let me move my ex expert camera holder here. We might have to jerk this thing. You are really dumb. For real. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber. You go and do something like this. And totally redeem yourself! <laughs> <laughs> Well, she got most of that out. She's still a little, she's a little wonky still. I wonder if I could get on the bottom there, take a little bit more of that out. I'm not sure. I really don't want to tug on this too hard because I don't want to mess up any of the linkages down there. I'm not sure if, uh, if we haven't done so already, if we haven't messed anything up, but. That's that in a nutshell. Let me see what the other side looks like. See if it's candid too. Oh, it's got a little bit of a lean back to it. Oh no. Well, that explains the dip. I lost a pin. That's not good. Let's go see what the other side looks like. I didn't even notice that. Wow. That would explain a lot. No, I still got that. Well, I better get that ordered. Oh, it looks like a tour boot, too. Looks like a tour boot, too. Like I said, I was driving this through some stuff I shouldn't have been. For sure. Oh, it looks like I hit a stump there. Yeah, needless to say, I wasn't, I wasn't being a good owner to this. I better walk this over, make sure there ain't no other damage I missed. Uh, usually you break a light. I can't believe I lost that pin. Yeah, well, I'm not really seeing anything else. Like I said, I wasn't planning on making a video on this, but I'm glad I did because I would never have noticed that that was, that was like that. Oh, I, I know it didn't break. It probably came loose and vibrated out because I don't have the original, what do you want to call it, pins. I think I have them in my pocket somewhere. It's a good thing I decided to make a video on this because uh, I wouldn't have noticed that. Um, I don't ne I don't necessarily walk around my tractor and do a pre-inspection. I know you guys probably murdered me in the comments for that, but I do tend to tend, you know, look for loose stuff after so many hours. But that I wouldn't have missed. Uh, I would have missed, and I would have cut the grass, and I would have been wondering why the grass was cutting all funny. Now the pin didn't break. I just lost it because I took these guys out of it because they were such a pain to get off. I put a cotter pin in there and obviously it worked itself loose. So I'm going to get this thing put away. I just thought I'd make a quick video on this and uh, show you guys what I'm dealing with here on the sunny slope on this Kubota BX2380. And it's hot. It's hot, guys. So uh, wish me luck in my future ventures with this tractor and I'll see you in the next episode.